And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last deck of the day. We're going to have Winter Karma. Uh, this is our, uh, we had an extra long stream today because as you can see, there's no stream tomorrow taking a day off. So we got some extra YouTube videos for y'all today. Uh, this deck here is uh, going to be a Karma control deck, you know, like we're, where we're going to be winning the game with Karma, but pairing Karma with Freljord. Um, main reason why I wanted to pair with Freljord, we got Starlet Seer. So Starlet Seer now has three toughness. And I just wanted to play some more Starlet Seer decks. And as you can tell, Starlet Seer says, whenever you cast a spell, you grant the top ally in your deck plus one, plus one. So you got to cast some spells. All right, well, if we got to cast some spells... There's not really a better card to cast spells than Karma, because you get the extra spells for uh, the end of the round. So that's why, uh, you know, when we look at Starlet Seer, where to, to put Starlet Seer, placing it with Karma. All right, but then uh, Freljord also has some good defensive aspects. You know, you have things like Elixir of Iron and uh, Blood Sworn Pledge, that we can use those to be able to protect Karma also. Um, and then uh, and then I'm going to be using Braum, because you know, Braum's cool. It's fun fun to play Braum decks. <clears throat> so Braum can like be our anti-aggro thing that sits out and, and uh, soaks up damage for us, helps us get to the late game. Because of course we want to get to having Karma with 10 mana. Um, the, the combo that we have with the Enlightened uh, Karma for this game is Winter's Breath. So Winter's Breath, you know, if you have a Karma in play, is a one-sided board wipe. Um... But yeah, like we'll see if we have like enough to like finish out games. Uh, definitely thought about playing Ash instead of Braum and going more Frostbite and going with Ash. Um, but you know, gonna go with Braum instead. Thought about playing like one War Mother's Call at the top end to be able to get some more <clears throat> things out. Also thought about playing one Dawn and Dusk. Um, but you know, whenever you know, just had to cut it down to forty, and so th those cards didn't make the cut. But maybe like instead of like Avalanche, for example could play some of those things <clears throat> i feel like if we have like a brahm and we take heart of brahm and then we dawn and dusk that and we just have like a whole bunch of brahms out like that could be pretty cool um but anyway we got winter karma you know kind of like spooky karma but i guess let's go to the iceborne peak since it's winter and let's try some winter karma Let's go, Braum. Hmm. I think I'm just going to keep all these. The only card that I'm debating about putting back is the Hearth Guard. I'm going to keep Starlet Seer, Braum, Take Heart. Maybe I don't even keep Starlet Seer. Actually. All right, let's send both these back. Because, so basically, I, I would almost always want to play Starlet Seer on turn two, right? But actually thinking about it, turn three, I really want to have Braum and Take Heart both on turn three. So if, I, if I'm going to have Braum and Take Heart on turn three, then I probably didn't need Starlet Seer, at least in my opener. Because then, because we don't want to play it on turn two. So then, you know, like we're looking at um, you know, playing it later. I also do like that... So, as far as Braum goes... Wow. That is rude. Okay, if I entreat... Next turn, I'll have 5 mana, so I won't have... Braum take heart mana. So let's just draw our card. Anyway, what I was going to say is, you know how like Braum's like really vulnerable to uh, bounce spells like Will of Ionia? Um, and uh, I was thinking that like pairing Braum with Deny could also be pretty cool because um, you know, because you can use Deny to protect the Braum.
Hmm. I was hoping they were going to attack with the Omen Hawk, but I guess it wouldn't make sense for them to. Hey, noob loco. Hello. Dang. Scar Maiden Reaver has a 5 6. That. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. No, Chronicler, yeah, Chronicler Undying does double the Undying. Yeah. Because it says kill an ally and then revive it, so it does that. But then the Undying says whenever it dies, bring it back at the end of turn, so it does that. So you get a second the Undying. That's a good combo. Do they need that? That doesn't make sense to bounce that right now. I am really glad I didn't play anything. Really glad I didn't just play anything. So we'll have seven mana next turn. Yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever um, the Chronicler says, like, kill an ally, then revive it, like, it's a separate, it, that's a, the thing that gets revived is a separate, uh, it's like a separate thing. Um, so basically, if this doesn't work, then I'll, I have Avalanche. That's why I wanted to block that thing. I wanted to make sure that we still at least had Avalanche. Me. I don't... I don't think they'll play Noxian Guillotine, but I really hope not. Line up. Um, Where there is life, there is hope. Bounce that thing. By force of will. Block block. I 
take heart the karma? I don't want to. No, I'm just gonna do this. Sorry. Tall tails. Ooh, so close to pulling that off. We're so close. Jump up here. Stop scratching me. I guess I'm supposed to just recall this. Lunch. I hope it kills the wolf. Yeah. Get some more poros over here. Let's get some more poros. Inside of Aegis. That's not bad. Get a bunch of random cards. Not bad either. Break the straw, slaughter the weak. Winter's breath. Let's go. And that's our combo. That's winter karma right there. Winter karma. You know, Braum's just annoying the opponent over there and, you know, making them care about Braum all the time and focused on Braum, and then boom, Winter Karma. We did it, puppy. I do like Deny to protect Braum. I think that's a, that's pretty nice. All right, Draven Control. Let's get rid of this. These things can like protect our threats. Um, so they don't die. I guess we'll keep them. Ooh, Shadow Assassin, that card's good. We need to protect Karma. We need to find a Karma, protect Karma, have Karma win. Because Ezreal combo killing us sounds like a problem. Just theoretically, that sounds like a problem. I can do this. Boom crew rookie. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's get two drop. Probably better than that three two. 
that a lot of people play. Alright, looks like I am already dead. <laughs> you know, keep, I like, you know, keep like this game plan against control and they just go boom crew rookie into Draven and it's just like, well, I guess, I guess I'm dead. Snapper, help me out. Need some help. We're already dead. Yeah, this is just super aggressive. Um, I don't know, I just want to use my Winner's Breath right now? I think so. Next turn I Hearth Guard, and then Hearth Guard again. Or maybe then I have Karma Elixir. First big mission. Don't find me. You cannot escape. I'm pretty glad like they should just attack with the other boom for rookie also. Do two damage to me. I'm pretty glad they didn't. They should. This is a pretty good. It's a pretty good psych out though. Ooh, Sentry Take Heart is. That is tempting. Pretty good fake out though, because you only know, see Draven Ezreal. All the Draven Ezreal decks are control decks, and then boom, it's only like. Oh yeah, we're actually not playing something that targets your things at all, and we're never gonna level up Ezreal. We're just gonna beat you down though, but you mulliganed it incorrectly. That's kind of cool, like how they, you know, you mulligan incorrectly, and they just use Ezreal as like an aggressive three drop, but you have people mulligan incorrectly. That's pretty cool. I actually kind of like this idea like what if you just play like you know regular you know like a regular burn deck but you just play three dravens and you just play just play one ezreal in the deck so that then people see draven ezreal and they mulligan completely differently but you know your deck's just filled with you know, like the all the the noxus one drops and everything dude i'm gonna do yeah we're gonna do this like uh later on in the week this is a sweet idea Yeah, it is too late for me now. You cannot escape. Ready the torches. All right, this is a good idea. We're we're definitely doing this. Um, you know, obviously not tomorrow because there's no stream tomorrow. But after that, we're gonna make, you know, just uh, like burn aggro, but with three Dravens and one Ezreal, just to have an Ezreal in the deck. But you know, we're not gonna play like, you know, crappy cards. We're not gonna play like a Rachnoid Sentry or anything. We're not gonna even try to try to turn on Ezreal. People will definitely just mulligan completely wrong against us the whole time.
That's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, you're welcome, Minecraft. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you're absolutely welcome. Glad you glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos. Cool, cool, cool. We got we got a curled up puppy right now. Oh, I better if he's all curled up. Curled up pup. And now I kind of want to do that with... I didn't really think about that too much, but now I kind of want to do that with like other, other decks and everything too. Like... I guess like Karina Control just uses Elise, but maybe you can make like a, you know, we can make like a, a different kind of, you know, deck with just Elise. Oh, well, thanks, Mike. Yeah, thank you. Minecraft says the YouTube videos are an easy way to keep up with the hot new flavors of decks. Cool, cool. That's what. That's the goal. So yeah, glad. Yeah, glad you enjoy them. No. My bra. Why won't you let me on tap? Our karmas haven't really been helping out too much. Hmm. One, so we have nine mana. So if I play Sentry, they play Yone. I deny the Yone trigger. We're at, uh, so that's six mana. We have three extra mana. We can take heart and then fight something. See the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, there you go. No. Ugh. Yeah, that yeah, that sounds sweet. Yeah, the fake Corona that's just aggro spiders with a couple PNZ cards. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I think that the Draven Ezreal is a really easy one to do, and you can have a really good deck and do that too. All will kneel before Noxus. Noxus always wants something from my own. Oh, 
Help me out, Karma. Poro snacks. Karma. Karma has not been helping. Got death mark and poro snacks. <laughs> what are these things? Karma's like, oh, you're hungry? Here you go. Some snacks. It's not karma helping me out, but that's a good card, but I need I need a little bit more mana. So I'm just gonna be passing here. Do I just cast this Poro Snacks just to get it out of my deck? Like get it out of my hands? Maybe I do, right? Like we're just gonna waste the mana anyway. I'll feel bad if they play something that I have to deny. something I have to deny. Feel bad about that. Oh, I guess... Oh, I don't have to. I could just put it back in my hand and replay it. That would have just cost me one more mana. I was one turn off, you know, one turn off of having the winner's breath and denying backup. Yeah, the board's scary. If that previous turn, if we had, um, one, you know, if we had one more mana, I think we would have been fine, but we didn't. One and two. And all those culling strikes. 
for Braum. That was sad. I like my Brahms. I don't like Braum getting cooling striked. But we, like we had the take cards, right? Like if we we always had like the three power Braum, and we couldn't quite. You know, like if they just don't have the the. the Culling strike, give us one more turn, we would have been able to pump it up. Of course, they're a Will of Ionia deck, also. Um, That is pretty pretty popular today. The Yeti Smash. On one. You cannot escape. I had fun playing it. We played it earlier. Hopefully we can get to 10 mana and survive. You know, like we have the the winter karma combo. We just have to hopefully be alive on turn 10. It's not clear that we will be alive on turn 10, but hopefully we are. Katarina was really good. We need some ramp. We need to get to turn 10 faster. That was good. We're basically playing our own Yetis. Fighting Yetis with Yetis. Why wouldn't I attack here? Isn't it just in my best interest to trade? I was really, really hoping they were going to play something pre-combat. And then, uh, you know, I'd have the winner's breath. Really, really hoping. Time for the money makers. Well, at least they didn't kill me. Yet they had the ability to, and they they still do with Katarina. Nothing escapes my watch. They probably assumed that I had like some kind of spell or something, right? You 
know, being like a, a Braum Karma deck, they probably thought I had like something, I guess. But yeah, they didn't they didn't quite go for lethal there. This is still lethal, obviously, because of Spinning Axe. If they just attack with everything, and whatever I don't block, they Spinning Axe. Oh yeah, they're just going to attack with those two. doing a good enough job surviving to turn 10 we we did one time we had karma winter's breath won the game on the spot these other games we have not been surviving that long faced three aggressive decks that were too fast what's up health potion you would have been cool That last matchup was the first time we didn't have the Braum take heart combo, and that would have been like the best Braum take heart deck. That would have been the best time to have Braum take heart, and that was the first time we did not have Braum take heart. play this entry. I shouldn't have. Can't take heart this now. They would have, you know, had like Mystic Shot or something they would have tried first, then we would have had the Bloodsworn Pledge pre-combat. I'm gonna kill this before it gets plus two plus two. They have burst spell speed, I can't do anything about it. As far as Heimerdinger is concerned. But yeah, slow spell speeds, we can. Turns on their Mage Seekers. Don't want to have their Mage Seekers turned on. like an awkward spot like obviously I want to attack with Braum but if I attack with Braum then they get to play Heimerdinger post combat like if they just pass back to me wanting to play Heimerdinger post combat I okay. 
was gonna say, I don't, wasn't sure what I should do if that was the case. Um, probably discard aggro, I think. I think I like discard aggro more than spider aggro. They're pretty close, though. I, yeah, I like discard aggro more. I, I just don't, I don't think dis I don't think spider aggro is too good. But there's other there's other aggro decks that I like more than discard aggro, like this burn aggro I like more. Um, that we played like the Katarina burn we played yesterday was pretty sweet. The rider aggro basically I d yeah there's other like all these kind of burn and aggro decks I like more than. Uh, Discard. We won. Yes, we did. We won. Opponent said GG's. All right, but there we go. There was Winter Karma. Um, yeah, the big creatures were a little bit of a problem. People killing my Braum was a problem. That was sad. And, uh, yeah, we we're, we we're a little too slow, you know, getting, getting to winner's breath, uh, was, was tough. Um, but, you know, I, it's not like the deck didn't feel bad though. You know, I think, you know, I'd like to play, you know, when maybe try this again and, you know, play some more games with it. Uh, I didn't really do any Starlet Seer stuff. Um, like the, like one of those, like, cause one of those losses felt, like the one where they had two culling strikes for for two Brahms that I had at three, like I had two different three eight Brahms and they had culling strike for each one. That game felt pretty unfortunate that they had a second, you know, like they had the culling strikes. Like that's not a that highly played of a card. Um, Will of Ionia kind of felt like a card I wish I had a little bit more of. Didn't feel like we really need the entreat. Maybe, maybe no entreat, and then plus a will of Ionia. Didn't really seem like I, I needed that entreat. Um. <laughs> hey, Shaper. All right. Uh, but there we go. That's that's Winter Karma. Um. Yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, give this deck a try and let me know how it's going in, in the comments because this one felt pretty fun to play. Um, you know, we have, uh, uh, you know, it's another good way to, to play some Braum. You know, Braum's a fun card to play. All right, but that's it here for Winter Karma. So thank you so much for watching. Pup, say thank you. Puppy. <laughs> Puppy's shielding her eyes. All right. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching. I'll see you for the next video.